From the pandemic to the war, the world is dealing with all sorts of problems. And while it's distracted, climate change continues to gain momentum. British High Commissioner Harriet Cross might have come from one of the world's most powerful countries. But after nearly two years in TNT, she's seeing firsthand how climate change is affecting this small island nation. The impact of them on climate change is so much higher because they're subject to um, their biodiversity loss can mean erosion, which means more flooding. We've seen flooding here last year. I saw really bad flooding here in Marival, and that's an example of the deterioration of the global environment. Eager to build on its commitment at COP26 last year, the UK has launched a global ocean alliance. More than 70 countries are already on board, including Trinidad and Tobago. It's a pledge to protect a portion of marine areas, ideally 30%. And if you think TNT is too small to effect any real change, there are over 7,000 hectares of mangroves scattered across the islands. 35 in Trinidad, 10 in Tobago, 2 on Shaka Shikari. That can suck up tons of carbon and greenhouse gases, so protecting these mangroves is a matter of life and death. But the ambassador acknowledges much of the region is still dependent on the energy sector. Countries with oil and gas really do need to transition to, to green energy, whether that's um, green hydrogen um, or whether it's solar power or wind power. Um, and that's a, that's, a, that's a slow process. We're not saying, you know, do it next year. Um, but that transition needs to happen partly for the economic security um, of countries that are currently dependent on oil and gas. From the grassroots to the government, High Commissioner Cross says this global alliance will require an effort in the truest sense of the word. Every dollar you spend is a vote for how you want the world to be in future. So I think individual action is really important, but political action is also important as well. So people need to be political in order to tackle climate change. For some, it's another roll of the dice as diplomats like Commissioner Cross pulls out all the stops, fearing a climate catastrophe. Ryan Bechu, CNC3 News.